as of the last episode, we were still up on the hard. That means on land, on stilts, in our Oh, is that what we're calling it now? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're listening to Amazing Living with Don and Lucky. Yes. The show dedicated to providing you with the strategies for creating a kick ass life. Everything that we're sharing is experience talking. It's not theory. Right. It's mm-hmm. not the way, it's our way. Mm-hmm. And our way is working miracles and magic and incredible uh, serendipitous and synchronistic experiences in our life manifestation it's it's Mm crazy it's creating some amazing things Mm -hmm. if you were to guess what percentage of people in the united states do you think want to be rich i think the answer is going to shock you the answer is 13 percent only 13% of people want be, to be rich. Yeah, I thought it would be a little bit higher than that. I did too. That. I think I guesstimated it a little under 50%. That's what I was thinking around, 50%. Mm-hmm. No, only 13% want to be rich. Now, the next question was... It's interesting. What percentage of people in the United States want to be financially free? Right. That's a given. You already know in your gut the answer to this. It was 100%. 100 percent Everybody wants to be financially free. Mm-hmm. We all do. But not everybody wants to be rich. I just want to be financially free. Interesting. But here's the real interesting. This one that was a real kicker. What percentage of people think you have to be rich mm -hmm. in order to be financially free? How about that? What's that one said? Think about it. How many people think you have to be rich in order to be financially free? We don't want to be rich. We just want to be financially free. But most of us, almost all of us think, well, if I ever want to be financially free, I'm going to have to be rich. 95%. 95% of people think you have to be rich to be financially free. And what that really shows... But they don't want to be rich, but they all want to be financially free. But but, but you got to be rich to be free. So there's a... Or so they think. Right. So there's a... What it does Mm -hmm. is it it, people have set the bar where it's unattainable. Mm -hmm. It is so far out there that it's unattainable. So why bother? You handled it extremely well. I did. You don't always handle everything extremely well. You know, well. there are times Much that I get more things. upset about know, 20 bucks. Right. That's, that's what, mm-hmm, that's what 2000. kind of, right. And that, I know, I know it was shocking to you because you yeah. did expect me to have a WTF moment. Well, I hear a lot of people. Stop being you. Who is that? Is it Jim, Jim Rohn? Rohn? Yeah. <laughs> things are always happening to me. It just seems like I just can't get ahead. And, you know, life sucks for me. And Lost and my kids. My I've lost wife. my kids. Divorce me. Car right. got repossessed. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Why does stuff like that? Keep Why happening? does this stuff keep happening to me? And Jim Rohn says, I, "I used to try to figure that shit out, but now I just take the easy approach. <laughs> Best I can come up with. Shit like that happens to people like you. <laughs> so don't be like you. So don't be, be like, like me. You. Be like me. <laughs> and here's the, a distinctive difference too. Most people, when you talk about being prepared, right? What, pre- for the opportunity. For the opportunity, right? Mm-hmm. Pre- preparation." Meets opportunity. Meets opportunity. Most people think preparation is just sitting in your house and reading and studying and reading and studying and doing your... But you know what? (laughs) Part of the preparation is going out and relaxing and having a good time and meeting people that you wouldn't normally meet. It's more than just reading a script out of a book. Right, exactly. It is more than just jumping through the hoops of classes. It is about... Memorizing it. scripts. It is about or, living it in and having it so deeply ingrained to your fucking spinal cord because you have had it bent and twisted from your good decisions and your learning decisions that you know you beyond know a shadow of doubt yes. what works and what doesn't work and even more important, why. This is your gut when it's been punched and when it's been purged, and this, you know in your knower that what you are telling someone else is the truth and what will work and the ways that they are going down a path that may not be good for them. And you know it. And there's a big difference between a strategist and a cheerleader. And there's times that we cheerlead, but... Sure. We didn't need a pat on the ass. We were running balls to the wall. Right. We didn't need somebody to say, woohoo, you go. Right. We didn't need that shit. We wanted some fucking solid strategies. It's the teaser. It is. 
Yes, it's like watching the commercial for a movie. You know, like you know, this is coming attractions. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the moment, but they don't pay the ticket. <laughs> right. They don't pay for the ticket to get in. Right. And they miss the movie. Mm-hmm. And they get to go back home and say, "Man, that preview for that movie looks amazing." And they don't get to experience it. I would really like to have seen that. <laughs> Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. If you've enjoyed listening to this sample of Amazing Living with Don and Lucky and would like to hear more, go to AmazingLiving.net and become a member where you'll get every fun-filled and life-changing episode in their entirety. That's AmazingLiving.net.